Hi everybody, my name is Dr Niall McCann. I'm a National Geographic explorer, I'm a biologist and a frontline conservationist. Huge thanks to Act Now and Environment Online for hosting this amazing Pieces Green Every Act Matters event to celebrate World Environment Day. We know that every act does matter, but we also know that some acts matter more than others. And of course, when it comes to climate and the environment, someone has crunched the numbers. And so we know the top five most important things that we can do as individuals to make our own personal impact on climate change as big as possible. So in order, I pledge in top five, I will not have another child this year. I will cycle more and drive less. I will drive more and fly less. I will be more personally efficient. I will insulate my home, that type of thing. And I will eat less meat. But we know we can go beyond that and do yet more. So I will only vote for politicians that put the environment first. I will use my power as a consumer to buy from companies that put the environment first or have a strong environmental narrative and strong environmental ethos. And I will only donate my labour to organisations that have a strong environmental ethos. And in everything that I do, I will recognise that human health, animal health and planetary health are all one health. And if we want to have healthy and functioning human societies, we have to have healthy and functioning animal societies and a healthy and functioning planet as well. So here's wishing you all a hugely happy World Environment Day. Let's do this together. I love all snakes. Seems like he wants to show us his wounds. He has a cut on his temple. Is that a picture of violence or is that a picture of peace? Wow, that is a fish. These guys are notoriously aggressive. Just maniac, lunatic, aggressive, that type of thing. But, as well as that, they have just an incredible strike length. Here she comes. Whoa. Traditional charities have failed to stop the violence and corruption killing wildlife. Our operations secure major national parks overrun with poaching on the brink of collapse. Working with parks authorities, we are all that stands between the elephant and the poacher. And our enemy is often sophisticated, armed and dangerous. The elephant, rhino and lion massacre is one of the great tragedies of our time. National parks are, by definition, the last legally protected sanctuaries for African wildlife. As custodians of this planet, we all have a responsibility to stop this from happening. The slaughter of 50% of all wildlife on Earth is a tragic blight on humanity. Climate change and species extinction are the planet's biggest challenges. We have to accept that conservation has failed. National Park Rescue runs direct action rescue operations, saving wildlife on the front line in Africa's most dangerous protected areas. We save dying national parks, training and organizing rangers to defend wildlife effectively. I would like to express government's profound gratitude. Without you, I am not sure where the only national park was going to be. From the park's poorest communities, we employ male and female ranger teams, and we reward bravery by supporting families, paying medical bills, and putting rangers' kids through school. We restore park roads and buildings, battle poachers' fires, destroy thousands of snares killing animals, and pretend to be ivory buyers to catch the dangerous trafficking gangs who are emptying Africa of its wildlife. Mankind's destruction of nature causes global warming, mass extinction, and pandemics. SARS, Ebola, AIDS, Corona, and others all began with wildlife poaching. Our rescue operations restore effective security 
provide poverty alleviation and stop the people destroying our natural world. Yeah.